The England versus Denmark game is about to kick off at the time of recording. There's about 10 to 15 minutes before it actually happens. Before that happens, though, I am going to just give my quick reaction to the news that Felipe Anderson is going to return to Lazio, leaving West Ham after three years. Just going to give my thoughts about the deal, as well as uh, just a quick reaction to him leaving. So it has been confirmed on Patreon by ex-West Ham United employee that Felipe Anderson is going to return to Lazio for a fee of around 3 million euros, which is 2.3 million pounds. To say that we paid 40 million pounds for him in 2018 and he was a club record signing, to then sell him for 2.3 million, that has to go down as one of the worst deals I think I've ever seen. And I mean, David Sullivan's notorious for doing bad deals, but that is really, really bad. As far as we're concerned, that's a, like a £35 million pound plus loss on a player. On the other hand, one could argue that, you know, it's freeing up the wage bill and that he only had a little purple patch for the first six months at West Ham. And I can see that. I can see why people say that because when he first joined West Ham, I will be honest with you, I didn't think he was worth £40 million. Pounds. I actually texted my brother to let him know that. And he said, yeah, I agree with you there, James. I don't think he's worth that money. He had a really good uh, first six months at West Ham and scored nine goals. Um, put in some really good performances. But after that, he's just become either non-existent or more like a pedestrian. I can see why David Moyes doesn't really want him in the team. Um, sent him out on loan to try and prove himself to Moyes. But Anderson struggled at Porto. Didn't even get regular game time there. I think he only made about four appearances in the Portuguese league anyway. And now he's going back to Lazio. Um, it frees up the wage bill, for sure. And we're going to get in a player that's more of a moist calibre, i.e. someone who's a lot more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot more um, hard-working and more to Moise's hard philosophy of the say less and deliver more kind of thing. Because Anderson didn't really deliver. He said that he was wanted to become a legend at West Ham when he first signed, but he didn't really deliver on the pitch for the most part. Moyes wants players that are going to deliver. Um, Anderson hasn't done that, unfortunately, and that's why he's fallen out of favour with the manager. Um, we could have used him for depth in the Europa League, though. That's one thing that I suppose is need of mentioning. And also, um, are we going to use this very measly money, this £2.3 million, pounds, on another player? I don't think so. The Hilaire money hasn't gone anywhere. So that's my other concern. We've taken a massive loss on Felipe Anderson. This is what we do at West Ham. We take massive losses on players. So I'm not very happy that really he's gone for that amount. It was, a wor it was worth at least £10 million pounds to me. So why has he gone for so little? I do not get it. But anyway, um, I'm still between a rock and a hard place as to whether I'm happy that he's gone or not. Because... Although I'm all one for second chances, he didn't really do much to prove to Moyes that he was worthy of a starting place in the team. So it's either going to be Say Ben Rama or Manuel Lanzini playing as number 10 as it stands with our squad depth. And, um, yeah, I suppose it's... It's left me feeling a bit bitter, really, because I don't think he was worth £40 million to begin with. I do think Lazio have mugged us off with that deal, in a way. And... Um, well, I think he just had a purple patch with us and since then he was just either not adapting to life in England or he wasn't good enough in general. I don't know what it is, but this is one of those where we spent a lot of money and it hasn't worked out and with a new recruitment system, we need to stop that. Overpaying for players and selling them for little or selling them for what the true value is. This Anderson one's another case of that. We seem to have overpaid for him and sold him for little than what we could have got. We could have got at least £10 million for him and I would have snatched your hand off for that, more than the £2.3 million. But I've got to say, um, I'm still between a rock and a hard place, like I say, with this because I don't know whether it's a, bad, a good or bad thing that he's gone. It's good because I don't think he's been pulling his weight a lot, but it's bad because we do kind of need the depth for Europe. And the fact that he's gone for £2.3 million is a bit disgusting and it's going to go down as one of the worst transfers ever, in my opinion, especially within West Ham's case. But I'll, I'll just say on a side note, thank you for your service to the club, Felipe. And 
Good luck back in Italy. Thank you very much for watching this very brief wheel and deal. The England game's just about to kick off right now. I've got it on here in my basement. So I'm going to be watching that. Um, very nervous right now. But hopefully we get a good result out of this. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all soon.